everybody and welcome back to the channel. I was just noticing some guppies in both of the gravel bottom tanks that were acting a little lethargic and kind of sickly. And I wanted to share with you what they were doing. They're mainly just hiding back here in the corner. This is gonna focus for you. That's the ma one of the males. And I was testing the water to see if it had to do with it. And the nitrate levels in these gravel bottom tanks are very high. So I don't think they're necessarily sick. I think that I need to up my water changes. I've been water changing once a week on Tuesdays. I do rinse the filters out from what I thought well. And I do have a three-step system to treat the water. But overall, they're stressed or not. They're just starting to act really just... They're not doing anything. I've only been changing about 10% of the water in each of the tanks, so maybe I should up the water changes a little bit more and the amount of water changes, but you can tell in the sand bottom tanks. They're just generally happier. They're swimming more. They come up and greet me more. So there's probably something living in this sand that's helping break down these nitrates. And nitrates are just waste pro simple terms they're waste products from the food the fecal matter of the guppies and usually you have live plants in your tanks that, that help break that down and since i just have these fake plants in here i don't know maybe i should try to plant something in here or i was watching some videos and they had some live plants placed in the filter and the roots were kind of help breaking it down so I was just curious if anybody had any type of feedback that would help me adjust these nitrates a little bit more but you can that female right there in the front that one she's lost a lot of weight she's still eating but you can tell there's more food and I feed I measure it out I measure out an eighth of a teaspoon three times a day and they're not eating as much. They're still all eating, they're just not eating as much and as fast. Let me go here to the stress tanks. In this gravel bottom tank, that yellow male is the one that I've noticed the most. And the top has gotten, he's gotten more of a clear spot. So I don't know if that's a sign of stress or sickness, but I have noticed that color change. That female right there, she's, she's slowing down a lot. And like I said, it's just in these gravel bottom tanks that the nitrates are out of control and they're hiding. And the sand tanks, they don't seem to be affected. And the test strips they've changed colors in the last few minutes but that this side right here is the nitrate level and that was clear and tan in the hardness alkalinity and ph was all those have changed colors but those according to the that's really out of focus sorry but according to the guide they were all in check and it was just the nitrates and as soon as I put it in the water, this turned bright pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do a water change, rinse the filters out, probably run to the store and just go ahead and get new filters and just put them in here. But I was looking for some feedback if I should up the amount in the times per week I change the water or if I should get some live plants and put in all four tanks to kind of help balance it. I want to keep everything as even as I can. So. If you want to track the process, subscribe, leave a like, a comment. If you have any feedback to help this experiment along with the guppies, I'd greatly appreciate it. But thanks for watching.